Hi there, my friends, and welcome back to episode 26 of The Good Sect. I'm Icon, and today we will pimp up Kui Razong's power to no end, hopefully finish Long Face uh, Cultivation Chamber, and let's see what we will acquire beyond that. So I have discovered that during this winter, certain rooms develop a really extremely cold atmosphere, and I really got no clue why, but... For some reason, Long Fei's room is way colder than other rooms. At least she made the breakthrough there, but due to this extreme cold, I felt like, check this out, minus 94 degree. I wanted to place down some beast blood into these other rooms. I mean, obviously not everybody needs that. Wait a sec, does anybody need that? <laughs> well. Let's put some beast blood into these dormitories. After all, some kind of luxury is not that uh, much to ask for. So they saw a stone bridge had collapsed. Well, then give, let's give them stones. Let there be rock. Let's place down a couple of these everywhere. That should alleviate the worst of the cold. Another one. Yes. Perfect. And we got 3,400 followers in that town. City of Abundance. City of Abundance is my weakest agency so far. So I'm really happy about getting extra... Workforces here. Charity in Mound South. No, Wild South. A broken wooden house. Yeah, we're going to help you then. Alright, so temperatures are rising to somewhat amicable. Yeah. Okay, 8,000 followers for us here. Wonderful. All right, some rooms are colder than others. Not all rooms are created equally. But <laughs> now, let's make this room a little bit of a less deadly experience for Long Fei though, because she's uh, kind of like frostbitten. That's not so good. First off, she's a cultivator now, so we're going to produce some demon hide sect clothing for her. This should help a ton already. And also, let's give Ruzong the upgrade. So he'll get 1200% more artifact power. We had 1900 before, and now we got 2200. Okay, we're getting there. To me, that's really important because this is, uh, this is raw fighting power. This makes us get through the whole job a lot faster. All right, so here we go. Demon sect, uh, demon hide uniform. Ugh, thought I was fast enough. And thought pill and resin essence powder. Well, that's pretty good. A gang of demons were operating in Blossom Fall. Oh no, demons. We will cleanse this world from these evils soon. But first we need to grow in power. Speaking about growing in power, we have acquired a couple of really interesting and strong items in the last episode. So we're going to help this foo -woo. Hmm, actually not the worst uh, person, but I'm most interested in very lucky people, you know. So, let's check out how her insulation is working now with that. Minus 53, but that's still way too low for her to survive in that environment. So we're going to place down some, some hotness in there. 
what you got rare materials for. For temperature management. I wonder if these Lumina cores are spreading cold. I don't know. I gotta admit that I always skipped water cultivators in the past due to the Lumina core problematic, so... This was the first time that I was ready to tackle the challenge, you know. So this is rather meager. Let's see. Beast blood does more. So when it comes down to temperatures, beast blood seems to be more potent. All right. Just need to get to a temperature where she doesn't uh, take damage from it any longer. Hmm. I like how this looks like now. So winter is the water elemental time. Is there anybody? Oh, yeah. Wood cultivators. So Busong was my wood cultivator. We could take this opportunity and reform him. Hmm, I like the idea of that, honestly. Because 17 days should be actually enough. Or wait a sec, I... No, this is not like uh, the other thingies where you have to wait until the end of a season or something like that. But we have Earth Flux, we have Wicked Flux. We seem to have a couple of Ganoderma and Red Ginseng, so the most important things are available. Let's check out if we really want to introduce Busong into a new life here. Well, quality 4. Yeah. Let's do that. I feel like this is a wonderful opportunity. Reverie Rebirth. I mean, we got so many... Oh, I would need something to put up his, to pull up his foundation as well. Well, I got a forming pill though. <laughs> this will be the biggest problem, but yeah, we can't use the forming pill. Why not? Bang! Why can't he re-equip his uh, old gear? Why does his old gear fall from his uh, body? Like he's uh, like a shedding snake. <laughs> uh, questions. Alright. So I don't want to wait that long. So he's uh, going to be one of the happy few allowed to feast on the forming pill. But I need some life lengthening medicine before that. Some life spring anywhere? Oh, I have a prison lo lotus. I forgot about that. And a gnarled vine. Ah, here, life spring. Because I want to use the bane pill right away. As soon as I find it, that is. Bane pill. Busong will be the last of a generation of cultivators which aren't perfect uh, fits for their laws because they have too low stats. Later, after his uh, new promotion, he will be we will be able to increase the stats of our cultivators before we initiate them. But now this is the best we can do. I was considering a little bit if I wanted to uh, redo it or not, but I figured it's it's just fine. So, spiritual traveling, heavenly heart. 
your old talisman set, my friend. So mine is 96 degree. He can cultivate in there. Very good. So, this is still his room. Nice. Alrighty. Let's uh, get him to his old self. Wow. That breakthrough, uh, that uh, cultivation time, though. So I'm put, I'm going to put my focus on Busong now as hard as I can because I want him to break through into the golden core as quick as possible. While it's still winter, you know. It's just such a good opportunity for him to get there right now. And for Ruzong, I'll need more inspiration, which we don't happen to have right now at this um, very moment. Instead, we're uh, finishing this little room here more and more. And Busong is having his breakthroughs. Just hope that I'll be getting there before the best phase of the winter is already over again. They're attacking me for money and resources. Well, I'm defending myself to try out how strong my sect leader has grown. 1000 artifact power, uh, artifact battle power though. Okay. You see, these cultivators are the reason why I stay that careful right now. Because that's uh, everything but easy pickings, you know. Right now, we're dealing with those uh, easily, because we're just already quite strong, but this would be a massive problem if we weren't that strong already. Very good. And another Lumina Core. Colossal Buddhist Heart Script, okay. Is there actually anything up there to be uncovered now? Where's Feng Shun going? I think Kunlun. Well, Pusong is breakthroughing again. So he's uh, actually soaring through the levels like crazy. But this room is also extremely powerful, gotta say. There's a lot of goodies in here. I don't dare to put the Prism Lotus in right now because I don't want him to freeze to death. But I think... Well, we should be safe to do so, actually. There we go. Break through. Oh, lack of chi. Also, 30 years of lifespan. Okay. Fang Shun is done with this procedure. Who would have thought? So, Sky Dome Palace. I want to send him to the Serpent Pit and I want to check out if we can gather Beast Blood there. Yeah, all the animals joining my place are instantly dying because the temperatures here are just too fierce for them to stay alive. Alright. So he gained plus 100 max chi just out of the blue. Nice! Like, seriously, that's actually a very big gift. So, is the next breakthrough already Golden Core? Yes, it is. Nice. So the season is at 5 stars. 
Let's see. Shouldn't there be a help menu for the seasons as well? So here, best time for GC breakthroughs are winter 23 to 27. So we're, we're still waiting for that moment. That's very good. So 204,000 on Seascape, wow. We're growing stronger here. Really, really growing stronger here. So we're going to send Busong to Seascape to gather the material, the knowledge there. Also, I want to upgrade my agencies. Brownstone 2000, wood 1400. So there we go. Even wheat. 3,000 brownstone. Just collecting all that stuff. Goes into the mini universe. U mini universe doesn't even flinch. So we can now upgrade a couple of my agencies. Because they grew large enough. Into intermediate uh, halls. I think that was the only ones. Wild South is still growing. Okay, there we go. So let's uh, wait until Busong has. Oh, I should read Feng Shun. The text Feng Shun is uh, encountering there. It could be a remark that he has no chance. All right, Prism Lotus. There we go. Now, let's get back to Longfei. Her temperature tolerance is still not high enough to tackle that room. Dang it. So, what can she learn here? Cast it to a lower state demon and seal it into a contract. And soul. Okay. Mindful Springs, Innate G, Panacea. All right. Nothing about staying warm. I don't really want to spend my valuable talisman paper for a cold resistant talisman because I know that this will be not an issue in the near future, but right now it seems to be very much of an issue. So we're instead going to place down more tables, especially since the next issue is like simply said, it's yet another talisman to manage. And we already have that many talismans to manage. So I rather make this room work for her. I think that's going to be quite okay. Ruzong got a natural subspirit. Mmm, that's that's really good. These are the true freebies. So mine is 53 and it's minus 41. She ain't dying in there anymore. That's good. Alright. As we can see here, she's cultivating a lot slower here than Busong did. I think this must be because this room is not as fancy as this one. This does make a difference, but it's good enough for us to get there. And Longfei is breaking through time and time. Okay, Feng Shun got us some beast blood, because I used a lot of it. Longfei is cultivating and ready for the next breakthrough. 100% chance. A few tiger monsters are showing up. Okay. Core Shaper, Golden Core, Golden Core. Doggo, it ain't time to defecate now, it's time to attack. Let's 
Let's make sure that our dog attacks every single one of the celestial tigers. And let's get the party started. Yeah. Well, considering how powerful these things actually are, I'm quite happy with the outcome here. So there we go. We took him down, and her breakthrough was successful. Okay, now, Busong, study, study. Base G modifier, max G modifier. So luckily I put these into favorites, so we don't need to think about things too much here. We just select whatever has a star marking. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Alright, let's see. Busong has 2000 before this procedure, and let's see how much it'll be after. And also, I wonder if the 200,000 inspiration were enough or not. Because I somehow have my doubts. Requires adventure. Okay. So, we're going to adventure with her. For that purpose... She'll receive a... Proper one here. Oh, I can equip them like that, too. Okay. He's still learning. 4,000 points now. Alright, she got that talisman. Well... We're going to draw. A spiritual tra wait a sec, which one do we need? Spiritual traveling, okay. We're going to draw a spiritual traveling on the really costy paper. Bang. Now that's as powerful as these talismans can go. I don't know if there's a, a higher level than that. But we have now a really nice Adventure Fly Speed bonus on her. Also, I just figured, let's check out, is there... Is there, is there... Can she already learn? Spirit Revel. Yes, she can. Wonderful. That's a lot of extra move speed as well. So, we have found a law while... Yeah, yeah. With the upgrades, we need to choose new laws. Alrighty. Now, Long Fei can just go for that adventure. I mean, she needs it now. So with the Spirit Revel technique learned, I'm pretty sure that she's now going to be able to travel a lot faster than before. So Busong was not successful in learning all of the skills there. I kind of like expected that to happen. So let's see, 200,000 at river, river bank Plains. Let's give him that as well. We're still in the clear. There's plenty of days ahead of us before the best time in the winter comes. Auction, selling common items. Well, I'm too poor for that. I'm gonna skip the auction this one time. Sometimes I skip the auction because I feel like we don't have enough money. Alright. Do we have any more sage fruits? 
just asking. Sometimes that stuff is just lying around in my storage and I don't notice it. Just like that gnarled vine, which uh, has to lie here. There we go. So, Long Fei came to that place. We. So, Celestial Thunder Salva Salvation Sutra. That's a Shendao law. I haven't uh, really played around Shendao too much yet, so I have no clue about how this works or not. We're going to find that out in the near future. So, we're going to send Long Fei now on the on the cotton uh, road. And Wang Ganji is chilling out here. That's certainly not welcome. We still need more Lumina, of course. But this room is getting somewhere here. I like that. All right, let's uh, fetch a Buzong's inspiration. And also, we should consider that somebody has to do a nice water weather water weather for busong there some kind of a snowstorm or such would be really nice but first he has to learn the other skills that he couldn't learn yet so it's just earth mother Seriously, only that one? Okay. Not too shabby, I say. So we only have Thunderstorm and... Yay, yet another one! And I somehow highly doubt that Ruzong is able to, to do that. So we're going to unassign Feng Shun for a moment. It has started to snow. I think that's the ideal weather, actually. So Feng Shun has a pretty low attainment, It's exactly what I was uh, hoping for, and he has enough inspiration to do so. Perfect. That's why I really like to have low quality cultivators in the beginning. I have thought about it a long while and I came to the conclusion that it's really powerful to have that. So timely rain, no, rainstorm during winter and summer. Yes, that sounds like we're, well, what we're going to need. Although, I want to check out. This weather is a four-star verdict. Okay. But luckily, Busong is all, almost there. He just needs to eat his medicines. One Earth Flux, one Wicked Flux. One, two, three, Ganodermas. One, two, three, Red Ginseng. You can also uh, Spectre refine all these resources too. The result will be an even more powerful cultivator, but I don't want to get into this uh, into it this far. So We're gonna need a mental state talisman for him, though. Because the Wicked Flux we just consumed is lowering his maximum potential for... for mood by 10 points, so... Ooh, golden cores. But the most powerful of them is rather... rather weak, too. Well, Doggo could grind them down too, but I think I feel like it's way more fun to send our sect leader into combat as well. It will be even more fun one day when we have access to more artifacts at once. Because right now, It's really taking a, a pretty long time to take down enemies right now for us. 
so there's a third one I knew that there were three attackers <laughs> they were trying to fool me all right but looks like we have prepared ourselves good good enough that is so we're going to go this way and now we have a really good mental state and a off the bat quality to fit his law fit is right uh, is rather bad now would have been a really good moment to put up the uh, forming pill which i used to kickstart his uh his progression but well you know we could also check out what kind of uh let's see maybe we can do something about that his intelligence is not high enough that's definitely the one problem we got so maybe we got some intelligence bottle here who knows or maybe he does have some inspiration left maybe there's a in uh, a intelligence boosting skill here you know increases intelligence by 10 percent perfect it's just what we need Well, that's the only thing we can do, but it is at least something. And it gave him... Seriously? The five-star law compatibility? From two stars to five stars with just one skill? Boom. <laughs> nice. Alrighty, so we have done the preparations that could have been done. And Long Fei... Ah, she had her breakthrough. So that's also pretty good, and I'd say that's enough for one episode. I thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, it's my pleasure to do these runs for you, and I hope you're enjoying them as well. And yeah, I'm quite happy with how far we got to here, and also happy with the decision to reform Buzong, because we need those high chi battery cultivators later to form our apprentices, to do more spectre refinement. All these things don't come for free. So let's see how many Lumina cores do we have. Well, only one short. Man, nice. Like, that's insanely good news. That's insanely good news. I mean, I'm a little bit sad that we're not done yet let's see maybe there's one lying somewhere no it's not but whatever Duanganji is uh, gathering the next one already and then we are finally at the point where I can say we're ready to break through and we have a neat and nice water cultivation room as well something I could have uh, I never was able to say so she wasn't lucky well, next episode we'll do that, so thank you so much, drop your comments down below, leave a like if you want to share that video with other people, also consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a notification uh, and turn on those notifications. I do daily videos, so it's uh, quite cool for you. Also in the description below you'll find all manner of cool things, among those my Discord, cha uh, my Discord channel my Twitch channel where I do daily streams as well and also ways and means to support me financially if you want to give me a helping hand. I'd be more than happy if you did. But most importantly, let me repeat again, thanks for watching, that's the most important thing, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.